Hello Vinyl Community, Bradley here. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Today, I've only got one album to show. I've been waiting for this album for probably three months. And uh, it finally arrived at my doorstep the other day. So, I will tell you what it is. This is Out of the Afternoon by the Roy Haynes Quartet. This was released uh, on Impulse, which is the 23rd A23. 23rd album on Impulse in 1962. Uh, Rudy Van Gelder is the engineer. Now this particular, uh, why I've been waiting for it is lately uh, Verve and Impulse have been re-releasing some of their classic albums. And prior to this, it had not been released for quite a while on vinyl. And like the original pressings were like hundreds of dollars, a couple hundred dollars. And even a uh, 1990 press was going for like 50 and 60 dollars. So I just had to wait. <laughs> and thankfully, they did, uh, they did release this which my Sirius went out in the background. That was Roy Haynes. Uh, this is mono. And I will show you the inside. Originally, it was a gatefold. And that's one thing about these impulse uh, releases, reissues. Uh, most of the time, I don't think they are the gatefolds, which is a little disappointing. But... Uh, like this is the liner sleeve. So basically, the liner sleeve was the inside of the gatefold. Like this would have been on the left side, the gatefold. And you would have the uh, description on the right side of the gatefold. So at least they do that. I'm glad they do. Uh, the musicians on this album are uh, Roy Haynes he's a uh, very famous uh, jazz drummer and Roland Kirk is on saxophone and a variety of other instruments Henry Grimes is on bass and Tommy Flanagan is on uh, piano So this is the first album that I have that Roland Kirk is on. And uh, if you're not familiar with Roland Kirk, uh, he was a blind uh, from an early age uh, horn player. He played many instruments. Uh, on this album alone, he plays uh, tenor sax, and Manzello and a Stritch, which are kind of like forms of saxophones. He plays the nose flute <laughs> and the C flute. And a lot of times he will play two or three of these instruments at one time. That is pretty amazing. Uh, I've seen that done in... Uh, on stage before, uh, kind of like a gimmick, you know. Sax sax player player has like two horns in his mouth playing at the same time. <clears throat> but uh, Roland Kirk was a master at this, and uh, that's how he recorded this album. So, just a little bit on Roy Haynes. Uh, he is still living. He's 94 years old. Uh, from Boston. Uh, if you're into modern jazz, uh, the drummer Marcus Gilmore, that is Roy's grandson. 
and also a couple of his sons were uh, into jazz. Well, they are into jazz. So, I'll tell you just a little bit about this. Uh, I'll go over it briefly. Uh, starts out with the first song called Moon Ray, written by Artie Shaw. Uh, Roland Kirk sounds fantastic. Uh, and at times, he is playing two horns. So you have, he may be playing a sax and, I don't know, a manzello or whatever. And uh, so you get that harmony of horns. Well, only one guy is doing this. And uh, it sounds fantastic. I mean, he was a master at that. And uh, I get, according to the liner notes, uh, it said that uh, he just had to take a little time before he recorded to get his horns lined up properly because he might have three different horns strapped around his neck. So he would know exactly where they're at. And uh, after that, he did not need any help at all. So, like I said, Moon Ray, uh, a really good opener and uh, great solos from everybody. Uh, the second one is the standard, Fly Me to the Moon, in other words. Uh, beautiful Roland Kirk sax on this, and he uses that extra horn occasionally. And this is done in 3-4 time, like waltz. Then the last song on the first side is called Raoul, written by Roy Haynes. Fantastic song. And this album, uh, it would be considered a classic. Uh, and like I said, it was out of print for a long time. Uh, there were CDs available, but for vinyl, it was almost impossible to get a copy of this at a reasonable price and so I decided to wait. Okay, go to the second side. Uh, the first song is called Snap Crackle, which that was uh, Roy's nickname. And uh, great drum solos. Uh, Roland Kirk plays the flute on this one and at the end it's got a long drum solo. Uh, the second song, If I Should Lose You, which is a standard, uh, fantastic song. Uh, as are all of these, these are, these are really good, uh, good songs, good compositions. Uh, fantastic, If I Should Lose You. Uh, then the next song is called Long Wharf, I believe more of a bebop-ish, they really, he's really uh, going to it on the uh, sax on this. And then the last song uh, is called Some Other Spring, and that is a beautiful ballad. So, like I said, uh, this was well worth waiting for. Uh, I pretty much waited all summer. The release date kept being pushed back and uh, but I hung in there <laughs> and I just got to say something about the uh, these impulse uh, records especially if you have an original uh, with the gatefold just the uh, everything about this the this packaging is fantastic <clears throat> like I said you would have had a gatefold originally uh, and this back section on here are on the, most of the uh, early impulses. The impulse logo is iconic with the exclamation in the eye. And even the motto or slogan, the new wave of jazz is on impulse. So imagine back, <clears throat> back in 1962 when jazz was cool. <laughs> uh, all you had to see was the new wave of jazz is in on impulse and it's like oh I want that album and these impulse albums they they sold themselves uh, just by the looks and the packaging and not to mention the music so uh, I think
think that's pretty much it for today. And I would say that uh, I think I'll probably search for more Roland Kirk. Uh, excellent musician. Like I said, he was blind. Uh, didn't matter to him. And it doesn't matter to me either. Fantastic. So I would highly, highly recommend this album. It's uh, currently being reissued. Not a gatefold, but it's close. Okay, I think that's it for today. So we'll see you later.